Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the lyrics from Gold Whore Angels Hung from the Arches of Heaven, out October 7th on Metal Blade Records. The album has 12 tracks, 47 minutes in length, and this is the band's 8 full length studio record. They are an American Extreme metal band. If there's one word to describe this album is simple. I really feel like they oversimplified everything, but with great results behind it. When you look at the design, for example, the album feels balanced and cohesive because it pulls you in and allows you to see that every song has a very similar goal in mind. Even though they may sound different, even though they may have different starting points, the goal that they have and the journey that they're gonna take you on, it's very close together from track to track. But this doesn't mean that the album is not fluid. This doesn't mean that the album is not dynamic and engaging. It actually helps the diversity of the record to better blend with everything else so that you feel like the overall big picture is right in front of you and you don't really have to look for it. It's also an album that doesn't feel like it's 47 minutes in length. And this speaks to the playability. It feels shorter. You're allowed to experience the album, get to the end of it, don't feel overburdened by it, and you kind of want to go back to it again because you just didn't have enough. It's like a great meal. You want to feel satisfied, but not satisfied to the point that you never want to try it again. This record has this ability to give you what it has, give you everything that it has, but at the end of it, you still feel like you can go back for seconds. Great design, and not only the design enhances this, this playability factor that the album gives, also you're gonna see it in the sound. The sound on this album is also simplified, and what I mean by that is that they removed a lot of the clutter that you normally put on a record in order to give more of a direct drive or point the listener into a specific direction. This album feels more natural, it feels more edgy, it feels more raw. So a lot of the aggression, a lot of the intensity, a lot of the mobility that the album offers sound-wise comes from that. Comes from the album being really easy to understand, really easy to grasp, having all of the different influences that make the sound of Gold Whore be there on a consistent basis and allows you to see them uh, perfectly clear in front of you. Either be the death metal influences, the sludge influences, the black metal influences, everything is there in different sizes, in different shapes, in different amounts from track to track, but they're there nevertheless. They're not hidden by anything else and they're not blurred into one another. You're able to see the impact of the drums, see the impact of the guitars, bass, vocals, everything has its lane. But when you put them all together side by side and you start from the same point with the same finish line in mind, you allow the sound to be robust, to be clear, easy to digest, easy to connect with, and you're not forcing the listener to peel any layers. What's there is exactly for you to see, and they're not hiding anything. That simplicity of sound, that simplicity of approach makes the album sound-wise more memorable. Without having to make a, a hooky record, without having to make a catchy record, the riffs, the sound, the atmosphere, the vocal performance, all of these elements, because of that oversimplified, that raw nature that the album gives, makes the album memorable all around, individual songs and the collective. Now, within that sound experience, two elements I wanna emphasize, and that is the drums and guitars. The drums on this album sound great. They have this oomph to them, that they have this volume to them, this substance to them that always feels like every single song starts there. Even the songs that start more on a guitar riff or they start more with a guitar driven experience, the drums always have this ability to make you feel like that was exactly where the song was created, that's exactly where the song was started. They become the foundation that helps ground the entire album. A lot of that balance, a lot of that cohesive nature that this record has in one part is definitely due to the drum sound, what it gives, how it feels, and how it comes across when you look at every single track on this record. I just love the texture of it, I just love the substance that it has, I just love what it gives. It almost feels like it becomes the heartbeat of the album across each and every single track. Now, once you look at the guitars, you're gonna see that they are a little bit more diverse and they have a little bit more movement. If you have to look at two bookends as far as making this album balanced and cohesive, the drums are definitely one and the vocals are the other. The guitars are more in between and they're bouncing off of those two bookends. They still give drive, they still give push, they still give thickness to this album. This is a very thick sounding album, but they also drive, they also cut through that thickness 
they also allow you to feel like there's been a fuel pure uh, pour into the fire in order for the record to gain a little bit more momentum in order for certain songs to have a little bit more intensity to them so this ability to use the guitars uh, in different uh, with with different perspectives and therefore creating different impacts gives a lot of life it gives a lot of energy and it's really important so that the album doesn't start to feel too much one-sided you want the record to be uh, as mobile as possible you want the record to have some sort of chaos in it this album definitely has chaos in it but the chaos is controlled by those two elements around it the vocals and the drums the guitars are perhaps the the catalyst of that chaos the catalyst of that movement definitely a very interesting element throughout the entire record now the vocals as i said they are consistent and they give a sense of consistency to the record and it's important to have more than one element of consistency if you want to have a record that's fairly grounded and fairly compact so that the heaviness the thickness and therefore the volume that that heaviness and thickness creates uh, allows it to be spread throughout each and every single song but not in a way that makes things repetitive so i like the fact that the vocals stay as grounded as the drums do in different lanes but as grounded it, it allows them to be not just the grounding factor of the album or one of the grounding factors of the album but also a little bit of the narrator that guides your experience through the vocals fit this record perfectly every single song you always gravitate to what they're pushing and to what the impact that they're having in terms of aggression and intensity and songs where at times it doesn't feel like they have that same sort of power that same sort of drive the 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 aggression and intensity of the vocals takes it up a notch and it increases that feeling making the songs feel more balanced all around this is a super strong album through and through i'm not going to sit here and say that this is their best record to date it feels like a cliche but it's definitely one of their best albums this record has strength across all the different elements but what sold it to me is that raw uh, essence that the album has not overly produced not too many layers not too much clutter in the sound allowing the the guitars to sound fresh to sound in front of you allowing the drums to be powerful allowing everything to come together really well in a very simplified manner and then allowing the vocals to guide that experience that is the winning formula on why this album is as memorable as fluid as engaging as it is as far as favorite songs are concerned i want to start off with the bestowal of abomination rentless sound uh, it, it's just it, it has this relentlessness to it as far as the sound and experience are concerned the guitars at time expand the footprint they don't have just a one uniform path that they take you on they have multiple paths that they take you on and that multitude of paths is really important because it allows the song to feel like it's contracting and expanding every so often so it gives life it gives energy and it gives mobility to the way the song comes across the vocals help define the track and they definitely help define the atmosphere. That's something they're going to see throughout the entire album. But on this song, it's really noticeable the impact that they have on that experience. The solo section on this track is very explosive. It holds still the dark embrace of the song. So this is an interesting element and it's something that the track really needed. Because the song has a very dark and somber underbelly and atmosphere. But by adding a solo that's explosive and normally with explosiveness comes brightness but they didn't do that they made the solo explosive but what explodes onto you is this darkness that's still in the track so it makes it feel more complete it gives the song more of a sense of coming together it, it fits in like a glove it's a track that has all the right elements and the solo enhances all of the elements that you had up until that point and from that point forward next you have the devil's warlords the drums on this track are super powerful they definitely become one of the elements that jumps into the forefront that allows you to just see the power and heaviness that the album has but at some points is not as noticeable as it is from start to finish within this song the guitars have extra thickness to them and around them they're still penetrating but on this track i felt like the guitar sound was more about the thickness not necessarily about those dark riffs that just cut through this gives the song movement this is a track that doesn't lose its movement just because it's heavy sometimes when you have heavier tracks they seem to lose a little bit of its momentum because of that heaviness it's not the case here the song still moves well and it carries that heaviness with it 
really interesting element because it doesn't one doesn't stop the other now this gives impact all around and it makes you connect with the song and it grabs your attention immediately this is a track that holds you down pins you down with its heaviness and then drags you through with its momentum last but not least nihil this is my favorite song on the album perhaps the more thrashy song on the album and that's not why it's my favorite I just like the intensity that it has. It's a song that has great momentum, that has great tempo, that never really pauses. It just moves, it just has movement in it. And it's all about being a face melting type of banger. It has all the right pieces, it has all the right uh, parts. The drums are powerful, but they're driven. The guitars are thick and chunky, but they're driven. The vocals emerge from the track, pushing you forward, and they feel driven. So it's a track that's all about taking you from point A to point B in the shortest time possible and that makes it feel even more energetic than what it is. It's also a track that has a great solo section. I mean this album has great solo sections throughout the entire record. I mean it's pretty hard to find a solo that doesn't add value to the song in which that solo is in. But on this track I really felt considering the style, considering that more thrashy approach to go with a solo that's over the top, that has all of these elements of flair, elements of brightness, uh, it was really important because it enhances all the individual characteristics that the song has across all of its individual elements. This is it, Gold Whore Angels Hung from the Arches of Heaven out October 7th on Metal Blade Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, use the comment section below, I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.